In this video, we'll be going over the basics on how to navigate through the Smart Menu in FinStack 4.0. With 4.0, we took a mobile-first strategy, meaning the entire software is designed to work on a phone first and is consistent on any platform, whether that's a tablet, a phone, or a desktop. So starting with our mobile view, if you look at the very bottom of the menu, you can see that we have three options to choose from. We have a navigation button, a mini app button, and a menu button. The navigation button quickly jumps the smart menu up to the top and allows you to navigate through your database's hierarchy. So we're currently at the top level, which displays all of our sites. As we dig down, we can reach our floors and our equipment. The mini app button quickly jumps you to the bottom of the same menu and brings up whichever app you currently have selected, allowing for you to swap between the mini app and navigation quickly and easily. Now of course you can scroll between the nav and mini app, but as your scroll bar gets longer, it may be much easier just to use the buttons instead. Now by clicking on the menu button, you will bring up a new menu that contains all of the different FinStack apps that are available to that particular user. And it also contains the option to log out. There will be a blue highlight on the text of whichever app is currently selected and is being displayed in the mini app. By clicking on any of these apps, you will automatically change what is viewed in the mini app. Okay, so one of the most important things FinStack users need to know when navigating in Fin4.0 is that everything is context sensitive, meaning FinStack now automatically knows what you're trying to see or do based off of where you are at in the navigation. So for example, if we click on our navigation button and navigate over to one of our AHUs, our mini app will now display the graphic or the graphics that belong to this HU, as well as any graphics related to this particular equipment. So now let's say we want to switch over to the Points Graphics app. FinStack automatically knows where we are at in the navigation, and it goes ahead and it grabs the points that belong to this equipment. And if we switch over to a VAV, the mini app will automatically update itself and show us the points for the selected VAV, and it's all based on your contacts. So let's try the alarm app for example. Once I click on alarms, the mini app will update itself and bring in all the alarms related to this particular equipment. And if I go back one step to the floor level, the mini app will update itself yet again and only show the alarms that pertain to equipment on this floor. So see, context is very important in FinStack. Uh, where you're at will determine what you see and what FinStack will do in return. If you lose track of where you're at in the navigation, you can always tell where you're at by looking at the very top of the navigation menu. So as I go back in the hierarchy, you can see that the, the header up there is changing. So I'm at floor four, now I'm at A24. So you can always keep track by looking up there. And if you ever get lost in the smart menu, you can always click on the menu button, scroll up to the top and click on the FinStack logo to take you back to the very beginning of your navigation. Alright, so those are the basics on navigating through the new smart menu. The main thing you should remember is that everything in FinStack 4.0 is context sensitive. So as you go about using the software, you always want to make sure you're in the right context as it is now designed to automatically know what you want to do before you do it, making the entire FinStack experience that much better and easier. So we hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have any questions regarding the details in this clip, please contact us at support at j2inn.com. Thanks for watching.